Hi guys, Ivan Susan here from Vloggers on the Loose. Um, welcome to another walk around of a suburb. And we're uh, about 10 kilometers northeast of the Perth CBD. For all you locals, you can probably guess where we are. Um, we're in a suburb called Morley. And Morley um, is a big suburb, pretty big. It's uh, 10, it covers 10.5 square kilometers. And uh, the suburb was established in 1918. It's got a hell of a lot of shops over here. Commercial areas, restaurants, pubs, all sorts of things, cafes. So really it's your one-stop shop. If you live in Morley, you don't have to really go anywhere else. Just hang around Morley and um, you can um, find everything you want. So guys, you can see the Morley Galleria over there. That there is one of the biggest shopping centers in Morley. And that's about to undergo a massive revamp. And also an extension, so it's going to be fairly big. It's got a cinema in there also. You've got Dan Murphy's across the road over there, which is a liquor outlet. All your alcohol. And you've got Coventry Village down there, which is... Um, it's, it's, it's got a lot of restaurants and um, specialty shops in there. It's also got a pub in there. Uh, the pub's fairly good. We've been there a few times. So um, we might just take a little walk around Morley over here and show you guys around. Now guys, this here is a nice big sporting um, oval over here. It's called the Pat O'Hara Reserve. They'll play um, football, soccer, um, bar there's a little basketball area over there, so all sorts of things. They've even got floodlights over there, guys. So I would assume they'd have night games over there. Um, on the right over there, there's a Morley Community Centre. So that'll have a lot of things going on in there. And um, we'll just take a little walk down here and um, show you guys a few of the houses in, in the suburb of Morley in, um, in Perth, Western Australia. So yeah guys, the Pat O'Hara Reserve also um, boasts a play area over here and it's quite, um, quite nice and shaded with all those um, big mature trees in there. And it's pretty cool and then that um, butts onto a, a residential part of Morley over there. You can see the houses over there. Fairly decent sized houses. Morley's got all sorts of different styles of houses in here. You've got your big double story places and you've got your single story and you've got your older houses from when um, the, the area was established. Um, there's also a lot of subdivision going on. What I mean by that is most of the blocks in Morley were the old quarter acre block, which is just over a thousand square meters. People are buying those old houses and um, subdividing the blocks, a couple of 500 square meter blocks, or some of them are putting three uh, villas on it and selling them off and making some money like that. So there's all sorts of all sorts of things. Just if you swing around to the left here, look at the view of that. Um, that's the Patara. Um, playing fields there guys with the city over there you can see Perth City because Morley's um, this is a higher part of Morley so you can see the city over there uh, Morley's only 10 kilometers from the city as I said so that's quite a nice view um, overlooking the playing fields over here so we'll head um, into the part of the residential area because we, we can't do the whole lot more at least 10 square kilometers so it's quite a big area so we'll have a we'll have a look yeah I'm still wobbling guys because my my ankle I've um, rolled my ankle and I'm in a bit of a mess this looks like one of the real real old houses here you see you see the size of the block guys 
this is all their land over here, but they've, fenced, they've put a little fence around their house so they don't really have to look after the rest of the land. But that's what you, you'll get in these um, older areas over here. And that there would be one of the old original houses in Morley. It's obviously been given a, a lick of paint over the years because uh, that would have been a dark coloured brick when that was built. The curtains don't look too, too flash over there, they're all broken, cut and torn. So I don't know what's going on there. But then um, across here you've got some newer houses again. So this is just a, a little side street of Morley. We've just sort of um, Picked a random street and walking down here. So like I said, that Morley Galleria has, has all been approved for expansion and for um, um, redevelopment in there. And so it's going to be a, a fairly big um, shopping centre. So if you can score yourself, if you're looking in the area and you're looking for our try and get close to the shopping centre so you can at least walk there because it is quite a, a big shopping centre. This house here would date back to about the 1970s. This one here on your right. And you've got another older style one next to it. And these, um, by the way guys, the median price for a house in Morley, only 10 kilometres uh, from the Perth CBD is 560,000 Australian dollars and the median price for a unit in the area is 360,500 Australian dollars so it's not too bad not too bad at all it's close to the city close to um, transportation by the way there's a brand new uh, train station going to be built in or being built in Morley I should say and that's called the Allenbrook line so it's going to the eastern suburbs so it'll pass through Morley there'll be a train station here in Morley and that's all due to, to be opened at the end of 2024 uh, the railway line is well on its way we've we've seen it being built we've We've observed everything, there's a lot of work going on. It'll actually run along the Tonkin Highway, you guys, the railway track. So the train will be um, travelling along the Tonkin Highway. Here's a lot of new houses going on here. Check this out, these are all nice modern style houses. They don't look too bad actually. Pretty cool. This is, this is one house, guys, this is quite a big house here. It's got a triple garage on it, but then across the road there you've got all your your older style houses. So there's quite a um, bit of diversity here yeah, with the housing. Right next to this big flash modern house you've got a, a real oldie again. Look at that. So yeah, you could could score yourself a bit of a bargain in Morley. Look at this guys, this will be one of the older style houses. I've even got the original fence along here. Just about falling in. These are, these are called grass trees guys. Check these out. They've got quite a few over here. These are called grass trees. So there's about uh, 10 of them on this block. They, um, they are worth quite a bit. Those things, you can't buy them from specialist um, nurseries who sell them. They're Australian native, by the way. And here's another one of the older style houses. Then you've got a new one across the road there. Well, those are units across there. There's, there's um, three of them in that complex over there. There's a bus stop right in front of those units. Uh, the bus runs along here. Yeah. Now, um, by the way, guys, there's... Um, about 23,000 residents that live in Morley. 
so quite a big area, a lot of people. Um, a lot of cafes and stuff here. Cafes, pubs, all sorts of stuff in the area. So you won't be short of entertainment. And if you really want to go into the CBD, you can go into Northbridge and it's only 10 kilometers away. And look at this, nice, nice creep over here. Creeping up the wall, it looks quite nice. So there's an old house across the road there. They're probably gonna do some renovations. There's a few bricks and stuff piled up in the front there. So they probably pick that up at a bargain price. So, um, I did tell you guys that the median price in this area for a house is uh, 560000 But we've seen a house advertised on realestate.com.au. It was a bit run down. Um, for 399000 So, we'll put that link on for realestate.com.au in the area below for you guys. And if you're interested in the suburb of Morley in Perth, Western Australia, you must check out this house here on the left-hand side, guys. Look at that, that's a beauty. The tree's in the way, though. But it's a very nice-looking house. People have obviously, um, look at that. People have obviously got um, a bit of confidence in the area to have, um, to have invested a lot of money like that to build that you'd have to have some confidence in the area there's certainly a bit of um, construction that has happened here in recent years because we are, we are noticing quite a lot of uh, new houses mixed in amongst the old ones which is good, you need the old ones also to give the area its character. So, um, it looks pretty good. There's a, that there would have been a, on the left there, there would have been a, a large block, a thousand square meter block. And they've put a couple of villas on that block. So there's two, two villas on there. And they've reasonably modern. There's another big house there. See what I mean guys, people, um, have got a bit of confidence in the area because it's one of those, Morley's one of those suburbs that never gets mentioned. It's one of those um, sleeper suburbs, shall we say. No one talks about it. It's just there, but it's close to everything. Um, I think it'll be a good spot to invest in or even live in. Um, give it a go if you're looking for a house to stay or to buy in Perth. Western Australia, this could be it for you guys. I haven't seen many vacant blocks, so you might have to buy something and renovate it or buy something old and knock it down and rebuild. But you know what? We're only covering a very, very tiny part of the area, yeah? So there could very well be uh, vacant blocks. Now I've noticed, because this area is so old, guys, yeah, it's got above ground power lines here. Look at that. So, but there is a um, there is there is a, a push in Perth to sink all these to get rid of all these above ground um, power lines and put them all underground. And they have done it to quite a few, quite a few, um, quite a few suburbs here. They have done it to quite a few suburbs in Perth. A few dogs having a bit of a bark. Yes, yeah, so I don't know where Morley is in the in line for for having these um, overhead power lines sunk. But the the negative part about it is that um, you will be pay, the residents will be paying for it. So I don't know how they work it out, but the residents end up paying for sinking it, sinking these power lines. Here's a real oldie over here. That's one of the others. Um, quite, a, quite a, a real old house. I would say it dates back to the early 1970s probably. 
and then right across the road there you've got something pretty special and that one there um, is right next to those playing fields we were talking about earlier on the Patomara playing fields and um, got a helicopter overhead guys you can probably see it it's over there oh you can hear it we can't can't get it up there because the sun's in the way so we won't um, even attempt to here's a vacant block here yeah, guys not for sale though no signs on it so it obviously I would say it's probably owned by the people that, that own that house there and there, there's that helicopter again so something's going on he's, um, he's flying fairly low so there could be an accident somewhere there could be um, a lost person they're looking for could even be a criminal on the loose, who knows? In Morley, Western Australia. Buzzing low across Morley. Well guys, what did you think of Morley in Perth, Western Australia? 10 kilometres from the CBD. A lot of things going on over here. A hell of a lot. There's a lot of pubs, cafes, restaurants. Um, all sorts of things. There's uh, commercial, there's um, industrial. You've got it all over here. You don't have to really go anywhere if you lived in, in the suburb of Perth because it's an old suburb. It's very established, got everything going for it. Um, so if you like this, um, if you like Morley, let us know in the comments below. Leave a few comments. And um, we hope you enjoyed this, um, this video of Morley in Perth, Western Australia. And um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one.